I never got around to it and I didn't feel like doing it and you know I was kind of bored tonight so I decided to work on this layout and I am actually like incredibly proud of it it looks so good so anyways I'm gonna be going over our season here as you can see I put all of the results against all the teams that we played their logos underneath they're blurred a little bit just so the numbers stand out uh, as well as our playoff match and uh, the overall stats for the individual Pokemon so pretty cool stuff um, overall, we went 6-6 six and six with a plus 4, which is my best differential when it comes to league. So technically my best season. And if you count the playoff game, uh, we were 6-7 and seven with a 0 differential. So, that was my, this has my, been my best season of league format by far, which is really awesome because I enjoyed my time in the IBL. And uh, sadly, we couldn't advance past first round of playoffs, but you know, I mean, I had to face an opponent I've never beaten, so... <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so we had a couple very decent wins. We had a really good win streak uh, going after we lost to Deebs, and then we lost like three straight. So it was like, <laughs> it was pretty bad. Then we only won two of our, we won two out of our last three. So that ended up giving us a total of six victories. Uh, only two in the la the latter half of the season, which sucked. Um, but the first half we got four, and with a, how much, see, we didn't, we only, lost by a total of three in the entire game so we ended up with a plus 11 differential in our first in our four and two start so that was pretty good I mean I was overall happy with the season I was very happy with the draft and I think that I made some very decent free agent transactions I actually made three wow I forgot about that so with Nuke freed up after whoever had it before um, I think I don't remember who else had it. Once Uxie freed up, I dropped Bear Tick for it because uh, I was—I don't think I'd ever use it. I dropped both of my uh, hail. I dropped my entire hail core pretty much for Uxie, Mudsdale, and Gengar. So very worthwhile investments, if I might add. Because uh, the only Pokemon of those three that got a kill was Nine Tails, and it died and died both matches it came to. Saints Last did nothing. The only match it came to, which was the first one against Jose on Showdown. So, anyways, overall. I felt we did really well. Mew wasn't as well. I think it was uh, it was outshined by Mega Pinsir. When, uh, I had Mew in season two of the DBL, so it kind of got outshined by uh, Mega Pinsir with Mega Pinsir winning overall MVP and offensive Pokemon of the season. So that was pretty nice. Uh, anyways, here Mew went 14 and 10 uh, in a total of 12 games, so it ended up being number six on the kill death chart, which is not too bad. I believe first place. How many did that even have? It wasn't that many. Uh, first place had 18, so we still weren't far off the top, which is really cool. Gengar didn't do much. Uh, when it came to matches, it, it really put in the work, and I was able to take down the couple of Pokemon it needed to. Uh, and it, I think it got a kill per game it came to, so that's pretty nice. Uh, Haxorus did not do as much as I would have hoped it would. I mean, one thing that comes to mind is that uh, the battle versus Deebs, where he swapped in his Lipard, uh, with Prankster on my uh, Haxorus as I started setting up because he had nothing actually for it is what he told me after I believe I mentioned that um, he had nothing for Haxorus and uh, he was able to taunt me into Dragon Dance and the crit knockoff I think in the end did matter uh, I wish Haxorus could have done more but eight kills is still not bad it's third place overall on the team so that's very nice and Next up we have Mudsdale, and Mudsdale is such a good Pokemon. I haven't used it yet this season in the IPBL, and I won't get the chance to. I will. You will have seen that already. Uh, I, I'll need to do like a full ex explanation so you all know what happened with the IPBL and whatnot. We only finished half the season, so pretty cool stuff, except it's really not. But anyways, Mudsdale is such a good Pokemon in general. Uh, I just love how its bulk. Uh, Pure Ground is very decent, and it gets a good amount of coverage to move, so I just like Mudsdale in general. It's such an awesome Pokemon, really. It's my favorite 6th gen, 7th gen Pokemon by far. Uh, even more than Primarina, and I love Primarina, so pretty cool stuff. Next up is Empoleon, which didn't do as much as I would have hoped it would. Uh, this thing was literally a wall. It was a wall or... It was a wall of some kind every time I brought it. Uh, Empoleon is such a good Pokemon, with such a great typing, and very good... Uh, and very good learn set that it can just 
it can be such an asset of the team. I just didn't end up using it as much as I probably needed to, or I probably should have. I just felt that other Pokemon matched up better, so yes. Next up we have Chandler, who uh, just, I like the Pokemon, I just didn't uh, end up having to do much in, in the time times we brought it. I don't know how many of the games it won when we even brought it, but you know. Uh, it's just Chandler's there. It's a good Pokemon. I love it. Actually, it's a very, very nice Pokemon. So, yeah. Venusaur is such a good Assault Vest Pokemon. Uh, went 4-4 four and four over the six games. Uh, this thing was overall just something that could put a lot of pressure on. Because uh, it has a very good learn set and it can be physical or special. Uh, it's got very good bulk, so you give this thing a, an Assault Vest. It can do really nicely, so that's pretty cool. I think that's really about it when it comes to Venusaur. I just like the Pokemon in general and uh, my boy Pudge, so you know. Next up, we have Electivire, who Electivire is like my favorite Pokemon in League format. One of them. Uh, along with two others on this team, one of them, the other, one of the others being Mew. Uh, Electivire didn't do as much as I would have hoped it to. It, it's just, it didn't match up super well in a lot of times, and I did kind of force bring uh, Electivire sometimes. It was kind of like my last ditch effort Pokemon. Uh, if I had, if I had no idea of what I wanted to bring, I would typically add Electivire to the team. And I didn't really have anyone helping me with team prep back then, so uh, it was just me building by myself. And I just felt that Electivire worked in most situations, giving it a little more credit than it needs, uh, just because base 95 speed, not bad at all, uh, decent special attack stat, uh, very good physical attack stat, but that 95 speed lends it to be kind of haphazard, because uh, you often may need to scarf the thing because of its because of the speed tiers and whatnot, and there's many Pokemon that can outspeed it that just wreck it. Next up we have... Uh, Espeon. Espeon put in a lot of work. It did a lot of damage when it came in the game it came to. Uh, it survived in like very low HP. Uh, I don't remember what it was even fighting against, but it survived or it did a lot of damage and I think that Pokemon died to Toxic. I could be wrong. Could have died to Mil Milotic's Toxic, but uh, something of the sort. So anyways, uh, it only came to one game and it did fairly decently for that one game it came to. So, you know, yeah, <laughs> I like Espeon's Pokemon. Uh, I had three pure psychic types on this team, so that didn't bode well in a, in a couple of different matches. But you can see here, uh, both of its skills were passive through Toxic or Stealth Rocks. Um, it died a lot, mainly because this thing was another wall, and it was always, often a lead. Uh, so I would it wouldn't do much, but U-turn out, and if I could hit the Pokemon hard, I'd go for it. It would often be some sort of death fodder because I didn't need it later in the match because it wasn't super offensive heavy. But sometimes I did lose my walls too early, which sucked. But uh, it did help in, several, in the eight games it came to, so that's very nice. And finally, Team MVP, that's why it has the gold star next to it, is freaking caked up in the Melotic. This thing kicked ass. Straight up, when I, I, don't, I didn't bring it for the first game. I brought it to every game after that. This thing held down. This thing was incredible. It, it was such a clutch Pokemon for my entire team. The only reason we won week 12 was because of Milotic. I dodged a couple hits and then just took everything out with Scald. This thing got uh, more kills and less games, even though its kills came in bunches rather than uh, like spread out, which Mews were most of that. Actually, Mew did have a 4K game, I think. Actually, thinking about sort of Milotic, so what I mean in bunches. So this thing ended up number four overall on the kill chart. So that is in like awesome. I <laughs> this thing straight up is uh, Milotic. Milotic is not a Pokemon you really think as offensive, but uh, I had two Pokemon in the top ten leaderboard, and I was only one of two teams to have two Pokemon in the top 10, so that is really nice. The other one was uh, uh, Chime and the Gaia Guard of War, so we ended up losing to uh, one nothing. It was a very good battle, so you should go check that out if you haven't, but yeah, I'm sorry for doing this so late as I have. It's just, I just never got around to it, and I just wanted to work on it tonight, so uh, actually, in the wake of the IPBL uh, Season 1 being canceled halfway through because of uh, lack of activity from certain people and stuff. It's just um, I just felt like I decided to get these le leak Pokemon things out of the way because I just hadn't started on them. So really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, appreciate it in the description below. You'll find the link to the IPBL IBL Twitter, and um, yeah, I don't. I'll also include the link for the playlist of the season. That'll also be in the end card because I always put the playlist in the end card now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The Kansas City New Kings will be returning. Um, 
I like the Lehigh Valley Iron Tepics, but I think that I would rather use the Kansas City New York Kings. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get back into saying Kansas City New York Kings. I had to redo the intro because I messed that up. So pretty cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. Do like, subscribe, and subscribe for more. I'll talk to you all later. Oh,